What is up everyone, it's me, Matt here, and today uh, I am going to be assembling my amazing Spider-Man 2 lenses, as you can see just behind me. Um, I've already done my homecoming ones, I redid my homecoming ones because I wasn't happy with them, so I just did them. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm doing today for you. Um, let's just jump right into it. I will say, I'm testing out this new, uh, well it's not new, I got it at Christmas but the Smart Lab Plus uh, from Rode. So we're gonna see how that works. Um, hopefully it's fine. If it's not, then I'll be using the uh, audio from this microphone just here. Um, and yeah, I'm also, I also have a clapperboard, so you'll probably, I'll probably do a clap if I can. And a new light diffuser, because film equipment is ace. So let's just jump right into it. Hey look, see I told you I'd use this. Nice. <laughs> first things first, what you're going to need. You're going to need your mesh for your lenses, your lens frames. You're going to want your heat gun, which I'll show you what you're going to do with that later. Um, if you haven't already spray painted and formed your frames, you're going to want to do that first. So go ahead and check out my spray painting video. It's not very interesting, but I spray paint my lenses so <laughs> yeah you're gonna want to do that first before you do this uh, otherwise you're gonna run into some issues so yeah um, you're gonna want some gorilla epoxy resin this stuff sets in like five minutes so you're pretty pretty set there um, and I have this Pringles lid which I have already successfully used a couple times for my homecoming set. Now this is that. Um, they look pretty nice now. <laughs> I haven't done the magnets on these yet, but I'll, uh, I'll get around to it eventually. So essentially we are doing this process with these lenses, which is gonna be nice because I haven't had these for a while. <laughs> um, and I'll also talk you through the magnets as well. So. Without further ado, away we go. To prepare for the uh, frames to be put together, what I like to do is use my heat gun and like turn over one of the frames, pop the mesh on there, and you'll notice that <clears throat> my mesh is very flush to the uh, lens frame. Now this is because I've like heated up the edge of this and then pushed it against the frame. So we have this real nice, real flush uh, edge that we're gonna use to like glue, like use that to glue them together. Um, and I've done that with both of them. Uh, if you're doing this, please be very careful with the heat gun. Like on this one, I, I, I flattened here by accident a little bit. Uh, I didn't mean to. It just sort of happened without me realizing. So just just go careful. And also it's a heat gun, so it's pretty easy to potentially burn yourself. Um, but yeah, one thing I will say about the glue is you have to work quite fast. Otherwise things might not sort of go to plan. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you are ready to put these together. Otherwise it may not work out the best <laughs> just just keep that in mind that this does set in five minutes so you have to kind of be like boom boom done and yeah <laughs> so i'm probably going to speed this up on the camera but i don't know yet i'll decide when i'm editing because i've got two sets of audio now instead of just the one um i <laughs> i tend to um rush I, well, I used to rush this kind of thing um, with my past couple of uh, lens sets. I, um, I, I rush it and it ends up looking kind of terrible, um, which isn't great, <laughs> obviously. But I've, I've kind of learned to just sort of take my time, chill out a little bit, uh, especially with epoxy. Like, I tend to wear gloves, but because I'm at uni, I can't because uh, I didn't bring them with me and I'm not going to go buy some because they're, they're not cheap really. 
Well, I say that, they're 4.99 from proper job, but I'm not gonna go and spend another 4.99 on gloves when I know I've got some at home. It's just another thing to take home as well. But yeah, I, I, I'm learning to just sort of, you know, relax, take a chill pill with cosplay and, and learning that taking my time is the best option. Um, just because it's way nicer to do that. Uh, and taking your time, you're less likely to screw up. Even though I'm, <laughs> you know, I might screw up whilst doing this. But then again, if I'm taking my time and not rushing, the likelihood of me messing up is a lot slimmer. But yeah, like I say, just take your time with it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the glue around the edge of the frame and let that sort of sit for a couple seconds uh, just, just to make it kind of tacky and then we're going to press the edge of the, we're going to press the, the um, mesh into that. But yeah, so now I'm I, like, the, I'm waiting for the glue just to sort of set, not completely, but enough, just to sort of give it some tackiness to, to put the mesh onto, um, which is going to be ideal because, and like creating that flatness around it, literally all you have to do now is push in the middle and you're basically set like you are done all you have to do is push down like you can turn it around make sure it's all in line like i draw a line around the edge just to sort of just to make sure that i've got it in line but yeah all you have to do is then push down and voila it is stuck down that is not going anywhere for a hot second but yeah, after uh, like a, a couple minutes, I'm, I'm, I, I like to just hold it. Uh, I don't tend to, I used to clamp it down, but every time I've done that, it's destroyed, like it's damaged the spray paint or something. And make sure you don't have sticky fingers whilst doing this as well, because that's the worst thing. You don't want to have like a sticky like, index finger or whatever, or whichever fingers you're holding it with. You don't want them to be sticky because then like, you know, you'll turn it around and be like, oh, damn it, used to be shiny. Now, <laughs> you can buff it up, but it's just best to sort of keep it, keep it as it is. Now, when I take these home, I'm probably going to cover the entire thing. Uh, not the back of it. Don't, don't worry about the back. But I'll probably cover the entire thing in a clear lacquer just to protect the gloss spray paint uh, and make it that, that ever, ever bit more shiny like like a movie look because i don't have because it's fog free it's not quite movie accurate but that's like fine by me i didn't i i would rather have less accurate lenses and be able to see it like at a comic-con or something than not be able to see it at comic-con and have an accurate thing now what i like to do um in this instance because the the glue has sort of dried up you can tell if you try and mix in your in your pot, whatever you're whatever you're using, you can tell how the glue consistency is on your lens. So when that starts to get kind of a bit tacky and a bit sort of stringy, that is the perfect time to sort of come back in and glue on top of the uh, on top of the frames. Now I do this just to make it um, like a bit more stable i only do it in the corners as well i say corners there's only two corners so it kind of just makes it stay where it is um i've left it a little bit too late as mine's too stringy but yeah mine's mine's pretty much set now let me talk about adrenaline real quick uh adrenaline the first episode came out on march the 4th 2019 um so the link to that will be in the description of this video uh, mainly because I'm really proud of it. So, uh, yeah, and it's an episode, it's like episode one. Uh, we are doing a series, it's on a production company channel, it's not on a personal channel. 
Uh, we're also, I'm in the uh, making of another film. It's a short film, but that is, that is for my um, university course, but it's more like, like it's for the course, but I'm doing it for me. Um, there are techniques uh, that Edgar Wright uses that I want to try. Um, and this is a really good excuse for me to, to, to try them. Uh, so that, that's kind of why I'm making the film I'm making. Um, it's a really short film. It's got Charlie in it, because who else? And another guy called Ryan, who messaged me on Facebook after Adrenaline came out. Uh, and he was like, oh dude, it's really cool. I'm a, I'm a stunt guy, I'm a choreographer uh, and everything. And I was like, oh, that's perfect for what I want to do. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get him involved as well. Um, <clears throat> he he seems to be really like-minded and interested in all the stuff that I'm doing. He sent me his show reels. He's actually quite a good stunt guy. Uh, the only downside to his stuff is that the camera work isn't like it's it's not bad, but it's not good. If you know what I mean, it's like amateur level stuff. Um, and if he had like a proper <clears throat> a proper camera crew and a proper uh, somebody who knew what they were doing with the camera, um, then I'm sure that uh, like his stuff would look really good. And I want to try and capture that in the film that I make. So, yeah. But yeah, now I'm just going to let these set. So I will come back to you and do the magnets. So, yeah. I've... It's been a couple of days. I've let these sort of set. Uh, and this is how they look. You can see them, they're pretty nice, pretty gnarly. I've done them a bit of a wipe a couple of times around the edge because they seem to collect a lot of dust while sitting around. Now what I've done is you might notice that there is, uh, there is a um, sort of a, a drawn on the back of it. Now what that is, is because I've already done the face shell magnets on the inside, as you can see, um, here, 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 and here. Um, I can't show you that, but basically, follow my uh, homecoming face shell tutorial. Uh, it'll be in the YouTube card up here, or this side, which, whichever, whichever side it is. Follow that, and you'll see the process of me actually putting the magnets in a face shell. Um, but because they're already in here, I thought it would be pretty pointless to take them out and put new ones in, especially as these ones are really like super strong. Um, so I bought some new magnets and these are really strong as well. Uh, like, voila. But you might notice on this side that they have tiny little X's on. Now, what that, what that is, is I, I want to make sure that and you want to make sure as well so get yourself a sharpie a marker pen so it doesn't come off and you want to you want to cross the side that is stuck down that is stuck to the magnet so this is the side the side that you've crossed is the side that is going to to glue onto your lens all right hopefully that makes sense so you cross that and that's the side that's going on that you, you, you're gonna put glue on. Now, you might have noticed that I've drawn on the side, drawn on this, on the back of my lenses here. Now that's because I have placed it where the magnets are gonna be on the inside. I've flipped it over, made sure it's sort of still in the same place, and then I've drawn around the inside here. So. I've, I've, I've got my sharpie and I've drawn in there. Now don't worry, that won't go through. Uh, like, so you won't see that on the outside. So I've drawn around there and I've drawn up here. Drew a couple lines. And I also drew the uh, bottom line just as a reference, just to see, so I could see where it is. Um, and now these circles, you might be like, oh, but how have you drawn that? How do you know where it's gonna go? Let's see, I don't. This is my estimate of where they're gonna go. Now, to get a better guess, when the magnets are on here, what you want to do is you want to put your lens, put your lens where you want it, put your thumb and finger, these two, blah, 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 
You want to put them where you can see the magnets. So there and there for me. And then you want to take it off carefully so you don't move your finger. And where your finger up, where your finger it, fingers, where your fingers are, that is where you want to draw a circle. Now these two are a little bit a little bit off just because the magnets are smaller. So if I go there, go that. Well, actually, no, that one's spot on. So now all you really need to do is glue. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much, that's the easy bit. Gluing is the easy bit. Um, how I like to do it is keep the magnet on the face shell until you're gonna put it on the lens. And also do one at a time. So when this one is set, I'm gonna do this one in the the bottom of the lens first I'm gonna do this one when this one is set we'll do that one you don't want to do them at the same time because otherwise they'll come together because they're so close together they'll just sort of snap together and the chances of you getting them apart are pretty pretty slim all right so we're gonna do that we're gonna do we're gonna do both of them <clears throat> just because uh, I need to, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, but I will do this one first, just so you can sort of, so I can talk you through the process. I've, I've flipped over my Pringles lid because I've been using it a lot for my uh, homecoming face shell and lenses set, which is on my Instagram if you wanna check that out, at Spider Spiderman. Go and watch my, go and watch last week's vlog that I put up on Sunday. Um, Rhiannon and myself, we went, we tried to go to Pizza Express. Didn't really, uh, didn't really work out as well as it, it should have done because they suck. But yeah, we had a nice uh, a nice couple of days together anyway. So yeah, it's nice to spend time with somebody, you know. But I, but even though we live like five seconds away from each other now, as opposed to the hour and fifteen that we lived together, uh, lived apart from each other when we were at Bridgewater. Um, it, it's, it's quite the difference, you know, like it's, it's, it's nice to live so close, but we also, we don't see that much of each other, which is nice as well, because I like my space and she likes hers, so it's pretty ideal. Now what you're gonna notice is some of the resin is actually gonna seep through the holes. Um, if you have the fog-free mesh. Now, don't worry about this. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to worry about it, you can, but there's not a lot you can do to stop that from happening. Um, so, unfortunately, that is that is just what it is. So, you're just going to have to live with that. I mean, try and use, a, like, a smaller amount of glue because that will help. So, now that's done... <laughs> We literally have to wait. And I'm gonna cut here and come back to it when these two are set and then I will do the other two. These two are dry, these two are pretty dry. What, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm I'm put a little, uh, let's do this one. I'm gonna put a little, a happy little smiley face on this one. And I'm gonna just, test it out real quick so again, boom as in perfect position right there now that is a, a li in all honesty that is a little bit early to try and test these out but I was confident in that one and this one we're not getting any movement so let's try this one out see that one's pretty good as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the opposite. Oh wait, I forgot the smiley face on this one. Should we do like a, let's do like a, oh. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to do the top two magnets and go from there. That's another thing I want to say. I probably should have said this at the start whilst doing this. Um, please, please, please 
Be mindful of your electronics whilst you are um, using and gluing your magnets to your uh, lenses, your face shell, whatever you're doing. Please don't have, for instance, please don't put magnets on, on or near your phone. That is not good for it. Um, or anything like, like, look, I've got my, this is my Xbox right here. I've got a computer screen, computer screen. If that was like anywhere closer, I wouldn't, I would not be doing this on my desk. Um, so please be careful of, <laughs> of that because um, you, you really don't want to screw up your your gadgets with uh, with magnets I'm just making sure this is in the right place that's another thing you can do like you don't have to rely on the circles you've drawn those are just base um, base circles so just like you know get it as accurate as you can the first time then you better to take them off and re-glue them Ever. <laughs> um, and voila, hopefully, hopefully put enough glue on that one. I don't actually know. <laughs> um, what I like to do though, uh, is on the ones that are already glued, is just go round the edge more with just a little bit more resin, just so they, they're they secured, they're on there, they're not going away anytime soon. And if you draw the smiley face first, it'll stay there forever, so. But also be mindful of the second magnet, because this one will uh, have a tendency to snap to the other one, <laughs> just because it's it's looser and it's not, you know, it's not um, set yet, it's not glued down. So just be mindful of that when trying to prop it up. Uh, and try and get it as flat as you possibly can. Right, now let's do this one. Make sure it's in the right place. Hopefully, we won't have to fix or re-glue any of these. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue around, just around the edge of these, because I haven't mixed up enough, unfortunately. So yeah. Now we'll do that waiting thing again, and um, see how they look. These are pretty much set. We're gonna go ahead and draw our smiley faces on here. I don't really know. This one has kind of, oh, this one's already got a mark on it. So I'm, I'm gonna just, he's gonna, have, he's gonna be a wide eye, a, a wide eye medium face. <laughs> oh, you can see that. He's a wide eye medium face. <laughs> and over here, we'll go with a, winky face because you know how it is got to get that flirt on Wahey, hey right and I, I will, i'll put some more resin around those in a moment but first i would like to show you how these are how these are all fitting on here so here's the first one look at that very nice indeed mm-hmm I'm gonna take that off because I don't quite trust the magnets just yet. And then the other side, all nice and dandy. There we go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is basically, is all, all the essentials you need to put magnets on your lenses and your face shell because yeah, even though the, the glue has seeped through on this, I would say I'm, I'm very happy with, with these. 
like very, very happy indeed. They're the shiniest pair of lenses I've, I've owned. Um, and the face shell is, has always been, I've always had it, so it's pretty damn good. Um, and yeah, let me know. I really want to know what you guys think about this microphone. Uh, I'm liking the audio quality from it so far. Thank you very much for watching this video, video guys. I really hope it's been helpful for you guys to see my method of assembling uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 lenses. Uh, and I hope that you can follow it easy enough. Yeah, it's all, the link to the resin will be in the description of this video. Not too sure about the magnets because I can't quite remember where I got them from. So if you liked it, go ahead and like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And um, comment what you thought. I'll see you in the next one. Also, comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see me do cosplay wise because i'm getting quite into it um yeah so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye